to a rather serious film and a controversial subject how a woman in London was killed by a crane collapse that was actually caused by German bombs from World War II. The recent crane collapse in the East End of London is tragic. Eighty-six-year-old June Harvey was upstairs with her niece, sorting clothes, when this happened. Behind her terrace house in the suburb of London called Bow, the local housing association were constructing new flats at Watts Grove. Their housing development required a crane. And this was no ordinary crane. This was a crane made in Switzerland by Wolfcran and supplied from their South Yorkshire site to the housing development in East London. Now, I'm no structural engineer, but my research has found out how these cranes are put up. Most tower cranes have deep, reinforced concrete foundations. Their legs are set in a pad of concrete to hold the crane up. But this kind of crane was amazing. It's so well constructed, it's so well designed and so well balanced. All it needs is four concrete pads laid on the ground. But it's vital that these pads are level and not level to half an inch. I'm talking a sixteenth of an inch over its lifetime of use. You can clearly see in these pictures the four pads and the gravel the pads were standing on. That is the standard way of erecting these balanced pad-supported cranes. But it didn't work. And I think I know why the crane collapsed onto poor June Harvey's head. I'm not a structural engineer and I don't want to undermine what the inquiry eventually finds in this tragic accident. But I think it collapsed because the builders ignored history. This is London in World War II, during the Blitz. Thousands of tons of high explosives were dropped all over the city. The borough of Bow, where the crane collapsed, was especially hard hit. Just look at this map of the number of bombs that hit London. And as we zoom in, look at the East End. For years, this area of London was blighted by bombs. June would have grown up remembering the bomb sites and the lack of construction in her area of London. And that was for a very good reason. The bombarded ground was torn up, leaving craters everywhere. But there's more. London is built on London clay. It's a relatively soft building material, and often buildings need deep foundations and reinforcing in strange ways. Even today, you can see the legacy of the Blitz. And in my humble opinion, 
the crane construction company ignored their history books. If only they had known that that area of London was bombed to bits. If only they understood how weak the soil was under the pads of the crane, it might not have fallen down. I'm sure they used excellent building practice to lay a substrat of gravel before putting the pads down, but this was a unique situation that tragically ended only 24 hours after the crane was put up by its collapse. I really hope lessons are learnt from this accident and it never happens again because next time please read your history books and understand where you are putting up your cranes. So there you have it. It's only my humble personal theory and I really hope they get to the bottom of what really caused the collapse. But the hubris of ignoring history can kill you. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.